corner spot opposite yeah. of Spoon and all camp. But just as we get into game week, what makes you feel confident that those guys not named Evan Witherspoon are up for the challenge? Well, um, I think they've, they've been rising to the to the um, level of practice each and every practice. You know, um, um, between Taz, between Terrell Jennings, between Tyler Strain and um, and um, Tyson Rooks, they've all been doing a great job pushing each other, um, pushing Spoon. So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun and exciting when you guys find out on game day who that who that other starter is opposite of Spoon. But um, I'm very confident about every last one of those dudes. To be completely honest with you, um, all of them have made plays during spring ball. Um, I mean, my fault during fall camp. I'm sorry, living in spring ball a little bit during fall camp. Um, we had a we had an interception leaderboard that we keep um, track of during fall camp, and Tyson Rooks ended up winning it. Um, he ended up winning it on the last day. He had uh, two picks the last day. You know, so he's been doing really well. I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of all those young guys. Um, extremely proud of Terrell Jennings. It's just a, it's a really healthy, good competition right now. And I think anytime you have that um, at your position, I think throughout the course of the season, you're able to build up. With Tyson, is there any maybe trying to remind yourself that he's still so green when he's out there making these plays? Every single day, every single day. But 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 again, I still have to be um, I still have to be very very hard on him. You know, because when, when we get to game day. Ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for him. So um, obviously, me and Tyson have a very close relationship, and so he can take that coaching. He understands that. But um, the, my greatest asset in that room right now is Devin Witherspoon, and the reason why is he's coaching those dudes harder than I'm coaching them. You know, and anytime you can see that and you have that in a room, it, it raises everybody's level of play. You know, um, he has a he has an unorthodox way of doing it sometimes. <laughs> You know, but 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 that's the way he do it. Yeah, that's the way he does it. I'm sorry, but um, the guys are taking heed to it. Um, they know he's played a lot of ball, so they they're they're kind of they're kind of learning from it. You know, and um, um, he's he's kind of a teacher in his own right. When what kind of picks did you know, Tyson have in the, to win the interception battle? All I mean, of them. A feature like yeah, you know, six four is like picking them out of the air. Yeah, yeah, that's that's there. exactly what was taking place. Um, all of them were deep balls. Um, it was funny because um, we had a. We had a, um, a practice um, on a grass field, and um, it was a deep ball thrown to him to his side, and he picked it off in the end zone, and he stopped. And everybody's looking at him like, "Run, run, <laughs> run!" You know, like he, like he, he, he hadn't experienced that moment yet, and he was just happy to get the pick, and he didn't understand that now you're a wide receiver and you're trying to score now, you know. And so it was a learning lesson for us all, even um, even as coaches, but. Um, all, all most of his most of his interceptions have come from down the field, snap the ball out of the sky. When Wyoming's, Wyoming's known as a more physical team, running team. Absolutely. How you feel about your guys as far as uh, getting out blocks and making tackles? And so in run support. So in order to get into the room, right? In order to walk into the room, you have to be a willing physical tackle, right? And so um, um, at the end of the day, it's either it's either a touchdown or a tackle. And so that's what we're preaching 24-7. Um, we ask here at the University of Illinois, we ask all our corners to be in a run field, right? So they are extensions of linebackers, extensions of safeties. You're not just asked to cover, all right, on this team, right? Devin Witherspoon has shown that he can come up and be physical. Tony Adams last year shown it, and we don't expect nothing less from any of those guys that, that are out there at that corner position. So they're going to be forced to tackle. Um, I think Wyoming does a good job of running the ball and forcing guys on the perimeter to tackle, and it's going to be a really good challenge for us. When you laid out your goals for camp, did you achieve them on the other side? Are you where you need to be at this moment going into game week? Um, we're close. We're close. We're really, really close. I think for fall camp, um, we achieved all those goals, but – I think when you take a, a, a seasonal approach to it, you try to tweak them, right? Because it's a long season. Um, but but right now, um, I think we're close. But I, I think there's a lot more progression that can still be made, just because we got a got a lot of inexperienced guys, right? The the the, the greatest tool I can have in my room is, is guys who have experience, right? Spoon is one of them, right? Terrell Jennings, right? He hadn't played on this. He hadn't played here yet, but um, he, he's another guy with, with with a lot more game time experience. But having those younger guys. Being able to be thrown into the fire sometime during sometime during the season, it's going to be a guy that you guys probably really didn't know about or haven't heard. That's going to be playing for us. That's just the way it works, you know. And they have to be ready. And um, and I think um, experience is the best teacher. Does that mean there's part of you as a coach that can't wait to get game tape to show your room? One hundred percent. You know, um, 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 I tell people all the time, it's only a loss if you never learn from it. 
you know, and so um, I, I think if you can learn from from the pieces of that game, especially being a young player, right? Well, well, why why didn't you do this as well? well what happened on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of practice? Oftentimes, there's something that 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 retraces back to practice that you didn't do so well that got exposed in the game. And so, as as a coach, right, my job is to try to try to fix all the nook and crannies during practice so that they don't show up in the game. But the reality of it is, is nobody's going to play a perfect game, right? And so, I, I got to be able to coach those guys through it. Um, I, I know it can be high anxiety sometimes, um, um, being that some of these cats is their first time um, in a college setting, um, at a college game, Tyson Rook specifically. But um, you just gotta take the good with the bad, and hopefully, they, hopefully they're able to learn from it. What are the coaching points that you sorted out when you were going through who was going to be that number two guy? Like, what, what did they have to do to win that job? Um, I think part of it is is one, they gotta make plays. You know what I'm saying? Um, Coach B says this all the time. We we don't have favorites as, as coaches. Right, my favorite guy is a guy who can go out there and perform. Right, who can do what we ask him to do within the confines of the scheme. And so, one, we want you to be a smart football player. Right, be able to get get lined up, be able to know situations. And then, two, it's just making plays, making plays on the ball. Um, we don't like almost guys or vicinity guys, guys who are always in, in close to the ball or in close quarters, but they're never making plays on the ball. And so, um, um, if that does happen, obviously I got to do a better job in, in coaching that young man through that. But um, for in deciding that spot opposite of Spoon, I think we we just want guys who are going to constantly compete and, and going to put themselves in position to make plays. You got a pretty good group of upper class. Mm -hmm. How more, more advanced are they coming into this season than they were this time last year as far as you know, being able to do more pre-snap yes, stuff and more different coverages and all that? Well, they're a lot more advanced because they know the defense for running. You know, I think coming into the first game last year, we were kind of still trying to find our identity. I think we know what our identity is. And guys are able to play fast, and they complement each other so well, right? Um, 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 Sydney and Quan out there, I mean, they're like – they're literally like coaches on the field. And you combine that with Tariq and Witherspoon and, and, and Johnny Newton and, and Keith Randolph up front, right? Seth, Coleman on the edge, right, with Zeke Holmes. I mean, it's just they, – they, they understand the weaknesses of our defense, and they know how to play fast and make up for them pre-snap communication, you know? And so I think year two – Right, I think coaches feel a lot better just because we, we understand what our identity is, and we're not trying to figure this thing out. We, we kind of know what, what we want to do defensively. It's just a matter of one of their doing it. What was your impression of 